Hello, I'm Reverend Rachel Heskins. I'm the Vicar of St John the Baptist here in Lincoln and welcome to our service today to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. If you'd like to join in with our service, you might like to find yourself a candle and something to light it with because towards the end of our worship today, you will be invited to light a candle and to renew your commitment to your faith and to the work of the church in your community. So that's all you need and it's very much uh, an option. But if you'd like to take part, just pause the video for a moment, go and find yourself a candle and a box of matches, and then uh, we'll be able to continue. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Jesus Christ, whom we worship, is our crucified, risen and ascended Lord, and we have walked with him through his journey of love. We have faced the agony of his suffering and death on a cross. We have rejoiced at his bursting free from the bonds of death. We have enjoyed his risen presence with us and his revelation of himself through the breaking of bread. We have seen his return to the throne before which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And now, with the followers of his own time, we await the coming of the promised Holy Spirit, his gift to his people, through whom we make Christ known to the world. As we wait in silence, fill, fill us, us with, with your spirit. spirit. As we listen to your word, fill, fill us with, with your spirit. As we worship you in majesty, fill, fill us with, with your spirit. As we long for your refreshing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your renewing, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your equipping, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your empowering, fill us with your spirit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. В день Пятидесятницы все апостолы собрались в одном месте. Вдруг с небес раздал, раздалясь взюк. Положи на шум не с того певого ветер. Von ihnen niederließen. Alle wurden mit dem Heiligen Geist erfüllt. Und sie begannen, in fremden Sprachen zu reden. Jeder sprach so, wie der Geist es ihm eingab. Wegen des Pfingstfestes hielten sich damals fromme Juden aus aller Welt in Jerusalem auf. Als nun jenes mächtige Brausen vom Himmel einsetzte, strömten sie in Scharen zusammen. Sie waren so tief verwirrt, verwirrt denn jeder hörte die Apostel und Die mensen waarop brood is toch allemaal Galileers. Hoe hoor elk een van ons dan zijn eigen moeder taal? Perse, Mediërs en Elamite. Zowel als de inwoners van Mesopotamië, Judea, en Cappadocia, Pontus en de provincie Azië, Frigie en Pamphylië, Egypte en de delen van Libië om Serene, mensen uit Rome. Het is een mogadas. عهد جدید اعمال رسولان بخش دو نزول روح القدس هفت هفته پس از مرگ و زنده شدن مسیح روز پنتیکاست فرا رسید به این روز عید پنجهم میگفتند یعنی پنجاه روز بعد از عید پسح در این روز یهودیان نوبر قلعه خود را به خانه خدا می آوردند آن روز وقتی ایمانداران دور هم جمع شده بودند ناگهان صدایی شبیه صدای وزش باد از آسمان آمد 
و خانه ای را که در آن جمع بودند پر کرد سپس چیزی شبیه زبانه های آتش ظاهر شده پخ شد و بر سر همه قرار گرفت دلونگ سبلبل دلونگ دو فو لو اپره سپره لزون لزورتر ایسی ای سپوزره سی شکن دو ای ایل فی تو رمپلی دو سن اسپره ای سی میره à parler en d'autres langues selon que l'espérer le donner. Taiyongkyoni, Hitobito wa ittai nani koto ga to hatsukimashi ta ga deshitachi no hanashi no hanashite iru kotoba o kiite sukkari men karatte imashita. Magire mo naku jimun tachi no kuni no kotoba datta kara desu. Hitobito ni wa sappari wake ga wakarimasen. ただ口々にこう言う合う、こう言う合うばっかりでした。こんなことってあるのだろうかみんなガリラヤ出身の人だというのに、私たちの国言葉を言葉ですらすら話している They're filled with new wine. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Be with us, Spirit of God. Nothing, Nothing can, can separate, separate us from, from your love. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill, Fill us with your saving power. Speak in us, wisdom of God. Bring, Bring strength, strength, healing and, and peace. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let, Let us praise and bless God forever. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that the Spirit will work through our lives to bring Christ to the world. God, who at this time taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things. And evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, Let Jesus be cursed, and no one can say, Jesus is the Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of services, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in every one. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. One body with many members. For just as the body is one and has many members, 
and all the members of the body through many are one body. So it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptised into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let everyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to to you, you, O Christ. The Holy Spirit is, if you like, the creative aspect of God. It's the Holy Spirit that calls the universe into creation. It's the Holy Spirit that speaks through the prophets in the Old Testament. And we have in the reading from the book of Acts today, that really powerful image of breath, wind, that invisible force that moves things and the disciples being able to speak in a prophetic way with the power of other languages. It's the Holy Spirit that calls us into action too. Christianity isn't a theory. It's not something that you can do by yourself. It's definitely a practice, and it's something that we do as community. And St Paul uses the image of a body. When we are baptised, we are baptised into Christ's body. And Paul is very clear in his letter to the Corinthians that that body is made up of equally important parts, and every part has a vital role to play. He says there's there's no Jew or Greek, there's no free person or slave. We are all equal in the eyes of God and we all have an equal part to play. And I think, I suspect, that first century Corinth was not dissimilar in some ways to the kind of world that we live in today. Corinth was a kind of boom town and it was a place where former Roman soldiers retired to and freed slaves decided to, to go and settle there. And so there was a lot of social mobility, but also a lot of social insecurity as well. It was really important that you could look down on someone so that you felt good about yourself and that you could look up to others because it gave you something to aspire to. And we have those kinds of divisions in our society today. But what Paul is very clear about is that in God's eyes, we are all equal. There's, God isn't interested in class, he's not interested in ethnicity or cultures, he's just interested in us as human beings. And every single human being is of value to God. And every single human being potentially has a role to play, has a job to do within that body of Christ. St. Teresa of Avila, who was um, a saint writing at the time of the Reformation in Spain, Uh, is credited with saying that we are the hands and feet of Christ. Christ has no hands but our hands. When God is active in the world, God relies on us to be part of that activity. So at Pentecost, it's our chance really every year to renew our commitment to being part of that body of Christ, to being part of God's action in the world, to listen out for what the voice of God is calling us to do, and to work out how we can serve God in our own communities 
how we can invite God into our own lives to transform them so that we can then go and serve others and bring the gospel news to them too. The good news of the life, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the transformation that that can have in the lives of individuals and in the lives of communities. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are to be shared. The fact that the first apostles were thought to be drunk so early in the morning, but were in fact just full of the Holy Spirit, had the gift of tongues. They could speak the message of Jesus in every language that was known at the time. It tells us that our own experience of God is one that we need to share with other people. So today, as we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, you will have the opportunity in a little while to light a candle and to make a commitment to being part of Christ's body, to being part of the church, to being part of God's activity in our community, in your community, wherever it is that you're watching this video from. You have a chance today to make a decision and to be part of God's action in the world, to invite the Holy Spirit into your life and to dare to be the hands, the feet, the eyes, the ears of Jesus, wherever you are. So my prayer today is that as we celebrate the invisible force, the power of God, the action of God in our lives and in our communities, that we will all embrace that and see this as a wonderful opportunity as we begin to emerge from the lockdown that we've all been experiencing, uh, that we can envisage what it is that God is calling us to do wherever we are so that we can go out empowered by the Holy Spirit to be God's hands and eyes and ears and to serve God wherever we are. Amen. We pray for God to fill us with his spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to equip us for the work which you have given us. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit given us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan 
and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your spirit. Hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us, and as a pledge of what is to come, he has given the Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed be God, who feeds the hungry, who raises the poor, and fills our praise. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. This day we give you thanks because in fulfilment of your promise, you pour out your Spirit upon us, filling us with your gifts, leading us into all truth and uniting peoples of many tongues in the confession of one faith. Your Spirit gives us grace to call you Father, to proclaim your gospel to all nations, and to serve you as a royal priesthood. Therefore we join our voices with angels and archangels, and with all those in whom the Spirit dwells, to proclaim the glory of your name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, Lord by, by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. 
And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. John the Baptist and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we, we are many, we, we are, are one body, because, because we, we all share in one, one bread. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us, us keep, keep the feast. feast. Alleluia! The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. Faithful God, who fulfilled the promise of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal, open our lips by your Spirit, that every tongue may tell of your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, overflowing in love. With Pentecost dawns the age of the Spirit. Now the flame of heaven rests on every believer. Strong and weak, women and men tell out your word. The young receive visions, the old receive dreams. With the new wine of the Spirit they proclaim your reign of love. Amid the birth pangs of the new creation, the way of light is made known. Source of freedom, giver of life, blessed are you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. For 50 days we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the powers of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts, and we have prayed that the power that was at work when God raised Jesus from the dead might be at work in us. As part of God's church here in Lincoln, I call upon you to live out what you proclaim. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you dare to walk into God's future, trusting him to be your guide? By the Spirit's power, we will. Will you dare to embrace each other and grow together in love? We will. Will you dare to share your riches in common and minister to each other in need? We will. Will you dare to pray for each other until your hearts beat with the longings of God. We will. Will you dare to carry the light of Christ into the world's dark places? We will. 
The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Today we have remembered the coming of God's power on the disciples, and we invite that same Spirit to drive us out into the wild places of the world. May the Spirit who hovered over the waters when the world was created breathe into you the life he gives. Amen. Amen. May the Spirit who overshadowed the Virgin when the Eternal Son came among us make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Spirit who set the Church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.